This device can be configured to power on in manual mode or AED mode with manual override. AED mode is indicated for use on unconscious, pulseless, and apneic patients. In AED mode, this device can be configured to allow rescuers to use monitoring parameters like 12 lead ECG, non-invasive blood pressure, capnography, temperature, or pulse cooximetry, including SPO2, SPCO, or SPMET. In AED mode, a CPR protocol is active on power-up. CPR protocol causes to automatically analyze the patient's ECG rhythm using pads. It will also charge the defibrillator when a shock is indicated and provide real-time CPR feedback using audible and visual prompts to help rescuers provide the most effective compressions during a cardiac arrest. This feedback cycle is repeated as long as the defibrillation electrodes are attached to the patient and CPR protocol is active. To deactivate CPR protocol, simply press the quick access key labeled pause. This will then allow the rescuer to monitor the patient's ECG using ECG leads and to use any of the monitoring parameters if configured. To reactivate CPR protocol, simply press the advisory button and follow the prompts. If an advanced life support rescuer is present, he or she can manually override the AED mode using a two-step process or four-digit password. Press the manual mode quick access key on the front panel of the unit to enter the manual mode of operation. Using the navigation keys, select the four digits in the manual mode passcode. Press save when you're finished. Once you have entered your passcode, you will be able to enter manual mode. Manual override quickly converts the device to a manual defibrillator with advisory. The advisory feature initiates an analysis of the patient's ECG rhythm and will also charge the defibrillator when configured prompting the rescuer to shock by pressing the illuminated orange shock button. Any combination of monitoring parameters such as 12 lead ECG, non-invasive blood pressure, pulse cooximetry including SPO2, SPCO or carboxyhemoglobin, SPMET or MET hemoglobin, waveform capnography or temperature can be used when capable and when configured for use in AED mode. To transfer it back to AED mode from manual mode, power down the unit for more than 30 seconds, then power it back up.